Chapter 22, That One Dream Project. My next project was one that I've always wanted to do, long before I became a director. A local jazz group called the Copa Kings, led by Billy Murphy. I've always wanted to capture their act, I just needed to get a proper amount of experience under my belt before I approached them. Given that the Copa Kings used burlesque in their shows, it helped that I shot She Liked It Spooky documentary. And all of my experience on Zombie Life TV, learning to follow the conversation, taught me how to follow the music. I decided to do this event after seeing their listing pop up online, and I had less than 24 hours to get permission to do it. After getting permission from the band, I immediately did everything in my power to contact Alma Drafthouse and the Highball, both of which refused to respond, and then I immediately went to work on the animated opening credits. It had been, I had been practicing animation on a side fan project adaptation of Kazuki Fujishima's top PGP, so that sort of helped. I arrived at the theater, and thankfully I was able to get permission from the highball because my old boss, Don De La Torre, was working that night, and I was able to show him the Copa King's Facebook messages on my iPhone. If it had been anyone else but a Don, they probably would have said no. As I stated earlier, I tried to get Tom Timbricks to show up as a spectator, but it was too short notice. He felt that he had something more entertaining to do. It worked out for the best not to try and shoehorn this into a Zombie Life TV movie, as jazz had nothing to do with that kind of subject matter. Billy Murphy is a perfectly entertaining host on his own, constantly telling in-jokes in between the songs and jumping off the stage, dancing around the audience. Meanwhile, Delia Dredd did some burlesque, while Saiban Cook did some tap dancing. I was lucky to get a short interview with Billy during the intermission, and learned that it was best to restrict the interview to just five simple questions. I like how there's this classy jazz film sitting in the middle of my psychotronic filmography, just sort of sticking out, and you're left wondering how it got there. It's kind of like how Stuart Gordon was known as a horror director, but his favorite film was Ray Bradbury's The Wonderful Ice Cream Suit. Amazingly, Josh Becker thought this was a good movie. His response was, Did you make this just for me? No, I made it for me. No, you think you made it for you. In reality, you made it for jazz fans everywhere. Billy Murphy sings a good pennies from heaven. The Copa Kings do gigs all around Austin, just not the highball, so check them out.